What happens when you put the world's most advanced AI head to head against the gold standard of precision shooting tech? This is ChatGPT, trained on everything from sniper manuals to shooting forums, and it's free. This is the Kestrel, trusted by military snipers, PRS champs, and hunters worldwide but it'll set you back between six and $700. So in this video, we're gonna see if you can actually shoot a precision rifle match using chat GPT to get your dope, or if you really need to drop that six or $700 on a Kestrel to get accurate hits. Chat GPT, let's see what we've got going on here. I'm gonna try this voice method first. So let's click the microphone. 22 rimfire, 40 grain bullet, speed 1,120 feet per second, BC, 0 0.152, 0, 50 yards. Scope height, 2.25 inches. Twist rate, 1 in 13 twist right hand. Please pull environmentals from the local station. I need my dope in mills. All right, let me know if you need windage added. Yes, let's add some wind. Oh, that's pretty easy. Please add wind out of the 430 at two to three miles per hour. Oh, and it gives me a data chart with wind. Let's see how accurate it is. All right, let's put this baby to the test. I'm gonna write my data card real quick, and we'll see if you can keep up with me. Truck bed troop line. Shooter will start standing with all gear in hand. Upon signal, shooter will move into position one and engage target one with two shots. Shooter will then transition to position two and engage target two with two shots. Repeat sequence for a total of five numbered positions and 10 shots. Time is two minutes. Hey, Matt. Yeah, Dave. I know you've been shooting for a while and you just got some information from AI. How confident are you right now? <laughs> Funny you ask me that. Yeah. Um, let's just say I think this is going to be disastrous. Mm. But in the name of science, I say we try it out. All right. And see if we can, you know, we'll see what happens. See if I can make some corrections if I miss and see if there's any chance we can possibly true chat GBT to those, do the right thing. Those targets are bright white. I trust you're gonna leave me some paint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate your confidence, David. Is the shooter ready? The shooter is ready. Stand by. Beep. All right, so what I found there is that's approximately a mil low. So let's try this second one, six tenths. The next target, it's one of those fun diamond things. Doesn't give me a lot of room to miss. But I did. So in true fashion, I'm gonna apply the, the mill miss that I had on the last one. I'm gonna come up and hold over a mill. All right, a little on the low side. Slide it down. Target three. It's going for one and a half. All right, low again. I'm going to hold over one mil. Ooh, still off there. All right, let's slide it back and move to the next one. Here's my 30 second timer left. Ooh, that looked like it hit almost the bottom. Almost two mils low. Let's try a two mil holdover. Well, I hit. You skipped it in and hit the fifth target. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. So I'm about to time out, but I still like to see where I'm at. Let's just go to that fifth and final target. All right, two mils low. That was still about a mil low, so I would have needed three mils. What I do find interesting is that when I missed target four and I skipped it in to target five, it's a center punch. That's worth bonus points. How do you trust AI now? I mean... Are you gonna go back and uh, have a little chat with so, artificial intelligence and see if they can correct this? So chat GBT and I are probably gonna have a little, a little talk. You go through your data, have a little conversation with your smartphone, I'm going to shoot the stage with the appropriate data and show you how it's done. 
ChatGBT, the data you gave me was incorrect. Can you please make the adjustments to the following? 79 yards, 1.0 mils. 111 yards, 2.0 mils. 147 yards, 3.8 mils. 175 yards, 5.2 mils. 206 yards, 6.8 mils. Please give me a new dope table utilizing those corrections from zero to 200 every 10 yards. Impact. 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 Nice job stacking those babies up. Here's my updated dope chart with corrected elevation values in mills alongside wind drift. All right. Impact. That's dead center, by the way. Impact. All right, Matt, that went swimmingly. Um, you, uh, <laughs> you, you getting trued up? I think so. All my right. numbers seem to be more realistic. Okay. I can get more first round impacts using ChatGBT after entering some data to it. Okay. Well, we have a, we're gonna throw another wrinkle. Oh boy. Into the plan. Uh, next stage we're gonna shoot was a helicopter stage. Helicopter hustle. Shooter will start standing with all gear in hand. Upon start, shooter will build a position in the front seat and engage the far left target with two shots. Shooter will then transition to the back seat and engage far left target with two shots. Shooter will then transition to the tank trap and engage middle, then right target, one shot each for a total of three positions. Both tank traps must be used at least once. Target range, left target, 189 yards. Middle target, 115 yards. Right target, 118 yards. Oh, I like that <laughs> stage yesterday. And you also remember it was probably what, like 130 degree pan. Oh boy, I wonder if ChatGPT has a built-in compass. We're gonna find out. Wind plays a little bit of a, a game here, so I see Matt's over there frantically dealing with his smartphone. Chat GBT, can you give me wind dope in mills at 189 yards, wind blowing out of the 430? I'm sorry, wind blowing out of the 830. I'll have to make that correction. All right, so Chat GBT did give me a wind call. I had to dig through some, some verbiage there to find it. It's estimating that I need 0.36 mils left at that far target 189. So I guess my first, first target engagement is gonna be at 6.2 mils of elevation and four tenths of left. Okay. All right, so using real data delivered by a Kestrel 5700 Elite with AB, we're gonna see how I fare against chat GBT and Matt Steiner. Oh. All right, a little high, a little so spicy there. I'm gonna come down two tenths. All right, I had to take two tenths of data out. It seems to be good, that four tenths of wind. All right, let's go over here. This is calling for two tenths of wind. I didn't plan this right. Somebody made a poor choice. I did. Let's see if I can get away with it. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> Still a little spicy over there. I do have a little cushion. 
run a little hot, take a little bit more data out of it. I'd say you did uh, quite a bit better than your last episode. What really surprised me, without a compass direction, ChatGBT gave me legit wind calls, four and two, and they, they held up. I trusted them both. It could have been, they, I thought they were a little bit on the weak side, to be honest with you. I needed okay. almost three at the short ones and needed almost five at the far ones. All right. So just a, just you made great corrections. You know, just dropping a couple points here on this one, you know, so how about another wrinkle? Oh boy. Mover. Shooter will start standing behind the bench. Upon start, shooter will take a position on the bench and engage mover for 10 shots. Hey, can you please show a little mercy? No. Just a titch. Can't. Got to. Not gonna. All right. Chat GBT. I'm gonna shoot a moving target moving at 1.1 miles per hour at 79 yards. What is my lead to target? For a target moving at 1.1 miles per hour at 79 yards, your lead should be approximately 1.4 mils in the direction of the target movement. All right, that sounds like a doable. Sounds about right. That sounds actually pretty good. That's probably the closest that thing's been all day. We're protected on both sides in a little cut here yeah. with trees. I don't think wind's gonna play a, play a role. Um, I'm gonna use my reticle, I'm gonna mill out the width of the target. I like to trap a target or okay. ambush, if you ambush, would. Ambush, yeah. Um, so once I figure out the width of that, I'll probably cut it in half and re remove that from my my lead on my cash or on my on your chat on my chat here. Do you happen to see what we're shooting? I asked for a pop can, but oh boy, you know, Shane's been a little generous. He give you a bowling pin. A bowling pin. A bowling pin. Oh, it's got a lot of wibble wobble to it. It does swing a little I'm bit. I'm gonna get some shots at it. Stable once it hits the middle. Stable once it hits the middle. All right, let's get after it. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I might ask for a too small a target. I might be giving Matt just a little bit of confidence here. Oh boy, way out in front of that one. Okay. Hey, try these. I need they might them. help you see something better. They're telescopic. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. <laughs> well, that was fun. It was. I was a little surprised that AI didn't do a better job, you know, especially with all the times that you tried to enter the corrections you needed. Uh, it really surprised me that it failed. The only thing that got close was your mover speed. It, you know what, it gave me some good wind calls too, using the local data. It did, it I mean, did, yeah. It didn't lie, me, lie to me there, but when you're off three mils in elevation, yeah. then it just, good, it's an unsafe thing. Good thing you were low. Yes, if, and shooting rimfire. And shooting rimfire. If you were you know, three mils high and potentially skipping over a berm, that could be a problem with center fire. So good thing it was rimfire. Well, I mean, when I shot that troop line the first stage when I was low on four and it right. skipped and hit target five, right? you know, that's 25 yards difference. And that just yeah. shows you that the ground doesn't always absorb a bullet. Correct. You're right. Rick Shea's in. So what do you think? What would you tell a new shooter if they called you up and said, hey, Dave? You know... What do you think about using ChatGBT? No, no, I'm gonna point them towards like AB Quantum. That app on any smartphone is gonna work really well and I'm, you know, I'll be more than happy to help them true it up. Hornady's app is gonna work very well. And um, Hornady's apps, they're, they're really affordable too. I think I think $12, dollars, is it 15 bucks. Is it free? Is it? They might have it's a free, free version. Yeah, and I mean, you can even look like others like Streelock. Uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few, but there are, there are apps out there that are gonna be a lot better than that. So in reality, when I travel to a match, 
I keep three Kessels with me. That's a good call. I mean, not everybody has that ability. I get that. Especially if they're newer shooters, they're gonna get overwhelmed with gear but, costs. But more importantly, that means I have extras in case somebody's in a match and theirs goes down, or they haven't figured one out yet. It's nothing to create a profile on your phone, right? On the on the app, and then just sync it to that Kestrel. The way they go. And then when you're done, you delete it out and give your Kestrel back. Exactly. So I mean, again, that goes back to helping new shooters out, helping oh, yeah. existing shooters out. Any piece yeah. of gear that I have, you're willing to use. And of course. And, and get you back in the game. Anyone that comes out to one of these matches, I don't care if it's center fire or rim fire, it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to help uh, a new shooter in a minute. Yeah. In a minute. And I got to let them be unsafe and let them have a good experience. All right, buddy. Let's get out of here. Yep. Let's do it. And he's gone. Just got rid of that chat GBT for good. All right. Where's my Kestrel at? <sighs> Missed you, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> One with my heart now.